Hi guys, Jeff Clark, Sources Apprentice. A couple weeks ago, I made a video of a haul from a discount warehouse store that is about 45 minutes away from me. It's a store I like to go to pretty often because you never know what they're going to have, and I love surprises. Um, their inventory changes all the time. They buy closeouts and liquidations and things, so sometimes they'll have, you know, six or ten of an item sitting on the shelf. Other times they'll have Gaylords full and skids just full of stuff. So when I source here, I like to assess how many I'm going to buy. If something looks like a good seller, I might buy um, just a few to test or I might just buy like the whole skid. Anyway, in my last video, I had one item that I bought 20 of and it's been selling pretty well. So I went back today to get more and guess what? I found more stuff. Let's see what I got. Okay. Uh, this is the item that I bought to replenish. This has been selling pretty well for me um, at a price point of $29.75. And look what I paid, $5. The Amazon payout on these is $19 a piece. I brought home 40 more today. Lots of money. Yay, Jeff. Pat you on the back. Uh, this one I did clean off the shelf. The rank is about $130,000 in kitchen. I paid $4.99, and it is selling for $17. This is Schott Zweizel, which is just fun to say. Um, this appears to be a wine decanter of some kind. I don't know the different shapes of decanters and what they mean. But um, I only bought four of these. And it's not because of the money, because, you know, they're only $2.99 a piece. But it's because the, um, the Keep a Graph showed that when they were in stock, they didn't sell very well. Now, part of that could be because the price point when they were in stock was like 70 or 80 bucks, which to me is just stupid for a decanter. But I thought I would buy a few and test them maybe at $40. And if they start to sell, I can always go back and get more. Oh my gosh, I think these are so cute. Look at this. Little red diner style serving baskets. Aren't they sweet? Um, I did not clean off the shelf on these because they had a pallet full of these things. They had hundreds of them. But I did buy a few to test. Uh, I only paid 99 cents, and they are selling for $15.99. So we'll see how they do. Uh, this is some Wilton stuff. I always, always look at Wilton stuff. Um, this place had about uh, seven or eight different Wilton products. This is the only one that I bought. It has rank and no sellers. I paid 99 cents a piece. Priced them at 10 bucks. We'll see what happens. These I did clean off the shelf. My goodness. Magic Chef Magic Steam Microwave Cookware. The smaller one had a rank of 14000 in kitchen. I paid $4.99, and it's priced at $22. The larger one has a rank of 10000 in kitchen. I paid 7 That is priced at $29. Yay, Jeff. Oh, my gosh. I was so excited to see these. So the very first time that I went sourcing at this store, I bought a whole pallet of this knife holder about a couple hundred pieces and it took me like three years to sell it but um they sold pretty consistently at 21.75 and today they had more at 3.99 now i haven't seen these since i bought um that pallet full five years ago but uh, this is already a proven product for me i know what price it'll sell at and i know it'll sell consistently also bought a whole bunch of these this is an antler hill wine chiller it's kind of cool looking. I mean, I like the design. It's pretty cool. Um, again, rank and no sellers. So I bought 60 of these for, look at that stupid low price, $2.99 a piece. No lie. And the Keepagraph said that when they were in stock, they sold pretty consistently at $24, $25. So I am a very happy man. So my total bill today at this store was $615. And my estimated net profit after cost of goods and all Amazon fees, right about $2,000. I am a very, very happy man. Leave me some comments and tell me what you are finding in your sourcing.